Hi everyone, my name is Maxim and we are continuing solving uh, decoding problems from Big Front End Dev. And today we are going to uh, implement uh, Kai with placeholder support function. Uh, as previously, we have, uh, for example, a join function which takes uh, arguments and uh, return these arguments concatenated. And, uh, we are going to implement carry function which takes uh, in particular case this join function and uh, then uh, we can uh, use this resulting uh, carry join function like uh, this uh, this carry join function can take uh, all the arguments and return their concatenation also uh, uh, among arguments uh, might be a placeholder. In this case, uh, this function should return the same result. So uh, we are going to replace this placeholder with this uh, argument. And this function uh, can take lots of placeholders like this. And uh, they should be replaced with uh, normal arguments. Okay, uh, let's try to implement this function. So firstly, we are going to return a function. Uh, let's call it caret function, uh, which uh, takes uh, some arguments, right? Arcs. And uh, as previously, we are gonna uh, check if uh, numbers of uh, arguments uh, arcs length uh, is greater or equal than uh, expected number of arguments function length we are going to uh, return uh, our function we are going to call this function uh, bound to our uh, context bound using apply to this and also uh, we need to pass uh, arguments arcs All right so I forgot to write function okay but uh, but uh, we first of all we uh, need to uh, limit our arguments because for example if we uh, if a function this function expects three arguments but we have six arguments we uh, shouldn't pass to our uh, function six arguments so we need to uh, limit somehow so let's uh, create uh, for example relevant arcs variable and uh, let's uh, take these arcs and slice them uh, from zero to uh, function length function length okay and we should pass these relevant arcs to our function additionally uh, here we should deal with placeholders and uh, in order to proceed with this call, we need to understand whether we have placeholders. So let's check this. Let's create a uh, has placeholder placeholder uh, variable and uh, check if we have some placeholders using, for example, includes method. Uh, includes uh, carry placeholder okay so once again if a number of arguments we have is uh, let's say is equal or greater than expected number of arguments and we have no placeholder we can proceed with calling uh, original function 
with appropriate arguments, okay? Uh, otherwise, uh, we are going to return a new function uh, which uh, takes uh, other arguments. Let's call it next args, okay? And uh, here uh, we need to call, return and call our uh, already created carrot function bound to uh, context using for example apply so let's bound to this and pass uh, our arguments so in this case we already have uh, relevant arguments right and also we have next arg next arguments other arguments so we uh, should somehow combine these arguments and I propose uh, creating new function, function uh, combine, combine arcs, okay? And this function is going to take uh, two parameters, uh, arcs and next arcs, and should return uh, combined parameters. So we can use this function here and pass to it uh, relevant arcs and also uh, next arcs well so uh, the current task our current task is to combine these two type of arguments so let's uh, imagine we will have uh, arcs like, uh, for example, this uh, one placeholder. And let's imagine we have uh, next arcs like this uh, two. Uh, let's let's uh, make let's add two here. Here we will have three. Okay. So what we are going to do? We are going to iterate through these arcs and check if an element is placeholder. So we are checking one, no, it's not placeholder. We are checking two, yes, it's placeholder. And in this case, we are going to replace this placeholder with uh, the first element of next arcs list. In this particular case, it will be free. So we're going to take this free and put it here. Free. And uh, it will be, and additionally, at the end of our function, we need to take uh, the rest arguments from this array. So let's, uh, for example, use uh, uh, reduce. So, for example, let's create a variable calls uh, true arcs, okay? And we are going to iterate through arcs. So uh, arcs reduce uh, reduce. Uh, takes function, takes callback, and uh, this callback takes accumulator and value. Uh, so we are going to uh, check, let's call our variable next arc will be uh, if a uh, value, I'm sorry, I forgot to add uh, initial value of our accumulator. So let's uh, check if value is equal uh, carry uh, placeholder. If yes, and if uh, we still have uh, next arguments array, length uh, is greater than zero, uh, we are going to take the first uh, 
element from next arcs. How we can take? We can uh, simply use uh, shift method. Uh, otherwise, we uh, can take uh, our current value, right? And uh, we can return a uh, new array with uh, all items in all in accumulator and additionally uh, next arc. And here uh, we need to return uh, uh, our so in general we need to return one list of combined arguments. So we are going to return uh, true arguments. And additionally, it might be that we still have uh, next arguments. So next arguments length is not equal to zero. So we're going to add using spread operator uh, next arcs. And uh, in this case, I suppose we implement this combined arguments function and uh, can uh, submit our solution. So we are done. Let's try to do that. Yeah, very good. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.